The Decorah Girls Wrestling Team has qualified nine wrestlers for this week's State Girls Wrestling Tournament in Coralville. Head coach Gene Adams joining us. And Gene, going back to last Friday in Mason City, a uh, super regional championship for your squad. And uh, the girls uh, put you in a position to be uh, pretty busy come uh, Thursday and Friday down in Coralville. Uh, what got it done uh, for your team on Friday? Uh, just, just chasing that goal. Our, uh, our, our goal is to, uh, win a state title and, and that started last Saturday. And so it was, um, pushing, you know, trying to get everybody to win team titles. And, and if you happen to drop a match chasing the best thing that you can get. And so for some of our girls, it was overcoming the, the heartache and, and having a short memory and, and in a sense, getting on the back on the proverbial horse because there are still, you guys, you guys chase team points. Um, even though there's really nothing tied to last week's regional championship, we got to be thinking ahead because this week it is. And so if we train ourselves where once we drop, we're done, then that's what we're going to do this weekend. And so it was just, it was kind of like a mock run that we, we got to chase the, the team race. Um, we got to put distance between ourselves and the other teams that, all matches and all points count. Um, every point that we can get counts. Every point that we don't give up counts. And I thought our girls really responded well to that. How do you instill that mentality of uh, really uh, looking at the uh, big picture in such the such an individualized sport such as wrestling? For me, I, I just keep reemphasizing the fact because, um, you know, um, many of these girls are new to the sport and so they don't really realize how, how tournaments work or how maybe big time competition works. And, um, lucky for me, I've experienced it for, for many years. And so I'm just passing down that kind of, that wisdom of what it takes to, to win it as a team. Um, no, no individual is ever going to win any tournament by themselves. Um, and so you got to rally behind your teammates and, and pump them up and, and, uh, focus on the, positive things that they're doing. And, um, I mean, it's competition. It's, it's not easy. Um, uh, when you, when you have a goal on, on your mind and it doesn't come true, then, uh, you know, there's, again, there's a lot of tears and heartache, but, uh, you also got to remember that there's a brighter side to the picture and you got to keep fighting. And I'll uh, go a uh, kind of individual qualifier by individual qualifier. Uh, Chloe Sheffield, uh, believe coming back to uh, state for the second year in a row for her, uh, Discuss her season. Uh, what's made it a successful one? Uh, I mean, she's a fighter. She's she's a spark plug. If you've ever uh, watched her wrestle, uh, she's petite in size, but man, she packs a punch. Uh, she's she's quick. She's strong. Um, she's you know very well balanced. She's got a, like a strong gymnastic background, and uh, yeah, she's explosive. And at one 100- hundred. 115 pounds, a young lady uh, you know pretty well, uh, Ellie Adams, uh, at 115 pounds, uh, getting to state as a freshman. What uh, got it done for her last week? Uh, improvement. Uh, just trying to think of back where she was at the beginning of the season. You know, she asked me, uh, did you think I could do this at the beginning of the year? And, and honestly, I said, I said, no. Where you were at the beginning of the year, you would not have been a state qualifier. But I said I was confident that there was enough time that you could be. And uh, so, she, you know, she's taken coaching uh, in a positive way. She goes out there and she battles and, uh, you know, good things have come from it. Um, putting herself in a spot where she was able to qualify for the finals and lock up a spot for state. And uh, Mackenzie Tollison uh, back to state for the second year in a row at 135. Uh, discuss uh, Mackenzie's season. Uh, Mackenzie's having a nice, solid season. Um you know, she's right up there, um, uh, you know, still learning how, maybe how to try to refine what her exact style is. But, um, you know, she has a strong record. I mean, she's 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 up at the top and, uh, and you know, she's going to be battling for a top spot. I don't know where she's going to land, but uh, she definitely deserves a spot on the podium. And uh, Amelia Wadsworth, I believe, uh, heading to state for uh, the first time if, in her career, if I'm not mistaken. Uh she uh, really had a good day uh, last to Friday. What was the reason for her success? Um, we we come to sometimes uh, nickname her old reliable uh, because she stays in great position. 
uh, it, it's hard to to shake her out of position, and and she's strong. Um, uh, yep, Saturday uh, was a little new to her as far as having to be through a qualifier, but uh, and maybe she dropped a match one round earlier than what uh, was expected, but she re rebounded nicely, uh, did what she had to do, and ended up coming through the backside and getting third. And that's never an easy uh, thing to do. And uh, then uh, from 45 on up, uh, you kind of hit uh, hit the hammers uh, row of your uh, lineup, uh, Anastasia Simon, uh, at 145 pounds. A uh, title bout didn't go her way, only her second loss of the season. Uh, but uh, the record uh, is what it is, and uh, there's a reason the record is what it is, I'd imagine, as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's no accident. Uh, she's a gamer. Uh, she's tough. And like, like all four of those girls that you mentioned, I mean, it'd be like a broken record. First thing they do is they stay in great position. Um, uh, they move well. Um, uh, they're able to force other girls to wrestle to their style. And, um, and, and then they score points and they score lots of points. And, um, you know, we're getting to, the, we're getting to the part of the season where, um, we're going to come across tougher and tougher competition. And, uh, and, uh, sometimes you get a little surprised with something, uh, and, uh, Sometimes you get to have the time to rebound. Sometimes you don't. And Lauren lose them at uh, 155 pounds heading back to state. Uh, she was a place winner a year ago. Uh, what's it going to take for her to get back on the metal stand uh, come uh, Friday night? Maybe just, just really a hundred percent confidence that she can. Um, and I'm not saying that she doesn't have confidence because again, uh, you can look at the record and everything, but um, she just, um, I, I, you know, just believe that she can do it. And, um, you know, she's coming in at a good time and, um, I like, I like her positioning in the bracket. Um, a lot of upside, a lot of upside to, uh, what she has going on. And, um, Friday night, if we, if we see her in the finals, I know me, I will not be surprised. And then, uh, you go to 170. What more can you say about Naomi Simon this season? Um, <clears throat> No, I don't know that I can say anything new, but uh, maybe something that I haven't said a lot was, uh, you know, one thing that makes Naomi special is the moment never gets too big. Um, and and, and uh, a big moment for her. Um, she knows it's a big moment. Um, she's been in plenty of big moments. And and she finds a way to just, uh, again, just uh, kind of, you know, um, um, internalize it and, and, and just... <laughs> one move at a time, right? Just control things. And she's very good at controlling the tempo, making other girls wrestle to her. And, and um, she scores on, on, on what they give her. And uh, Cameron Steinus has had a very good season at 190. Uh, what's it uh, going to take to uh, make it an even better season this weekend uh, as she returns as a uh, place winner as well? Yep. Um, you know, and she's in a similar position to a year before where she's a little bit undersized, but yeah, uh, you never know that. By the way, you uh, by the way she wrestles. Um, um, she she's strong. She moves well. Um, again, she doesn't need to do too much more to to uh, improve on her season. Uh, she's going to be right up there. I think she's another girl that uh, if she, she makes the finals, uh, no one's going to be that surprised if she were to win it. I don't think anybody would be surprised. They'd be happy for her, but uh, but not real surprised. Um, it'd be a great accom accomplishment for her. Um, and just her battling what she has had to do the last uh, couple of season where last year, I mean, she was uh, closer to being a 55 pounder and then decided to make that leap because it'd be best for the team. And that's kind of her mentality. And our team's mentality was, yeah, I'll give up that much weight if it means it helps the team. And, uh, and I know for her, she's going to be doing everything she can to get as high on that podium as she can, because she knows it's going to help the team. And Madison Lippy, a young kid uh, that's really uh, emerged uh, very nicely at uh, 235. Uh, what's been the reason uh, Madison has been uh, so good this season? Um, uh, the drive, uh, the drive. And I would say, um, unselfishly, she's, she's thinking more about the team. Um, over and over, you know, we had a little uh, bout of injury and it was uh, always coming back to how can I help the team? Does this help the team? and never really thinking about herself. And uh, now I know that uh, she's getting an opportunity to be back in the lineup and uh, she's taking advantage of it. And um, she's tough to score on. And, um, you know, for her, um, it, it, you know, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of matches end in the fall for her. And so, uh, you know, she scores lots of team points and, and that's what she's thinking. How many team points can I score for the team? 
And you look at the team aspect, uh, of course, last year, uh, your squad finished third at the state meet. And looking back, I believe everyone that qualified for state had won at least one match, if not two matches. And more often than not, it was by bonus points. Uh, is that a sign that that mentality of team first is really uh, kind of carried over uh, really since this program began? I, I think a lot of it's just the aggressiveness, the aggressiveness in which our, our girls wrestle. So, uh, yeah, I mean, something that was started to have been uh, instilled in them uh, last year. And, you know, they're still carrying that torch forward. Um, they get after it. Um, they, they really grind on their comp, uh, competition. And uh, so things that maybe they don't uh, work in the first period, by the third period, they do. And um, um in many cases, you know, we've been in a number of, of big tournaments against tough teams and um, and we continually talk about that grind and and what it takes and how important team points are and um, how we, we have to play our role and, and do our part. Um, you know, we can only control what we are doing on the mat, but what we do on the mat is contagious. And so if we're doing positive things, if we're winning big, then the next person that goes out there wants to follow suit. And you discussed the grind, and uh, I know you've coached on the boys' side, been a part of a uh, boys' tournament uh, over the years and at the college level. Uh, the grind of a postseason on the boys' side is definitely different uh, than the setup currently on the girls' side. How much of a mental and physical grind was last Friday at the Super Regional? Um, you know, it, it it's tough because for the first time, it it was for real. Um, you know, we, we used every competition as simply a stepping stone to our next competition, things that uh, we can improve on and learn from for the next competition. And, and last week it was finally, there, there is no other kind of step. Well, I mean, you're looking at state tournament, but, but if we don't perform here, we don't move on. And so it was just, it was taking everything that, uh, that we had learned and, and putting that to use. And, and sometimes, uh, Throughout the day, it was it was technical issues we had to you know this thing about and work through. Sometimes it was the emotional side of things that we needed to work through. Um, our girls did a nice job of of rebounding where they needed to, um, responding nice to, uh, well to coaching and uh, rallying behind their teammates. And those are long days, you know. Uh, depending on the girls, some had you know three, four, five, six matches gets to be a long day and to, to, to continue to keep, you know, your, your mind and body ready. And that, that constant, um, just that, that, that mental pressure of preparing for that next competitor and, you know, what you need to accomplish for that next match. It's a long day to sustain all that, that mental, <laughs> mental fortitude. And what's it going to take to have as a good of a tournament as you can uh, this weekend in Coralville? I, I really think we just got to keep doing what we're doing. Um, um, you know, I go back to the late November, early December when we were competing at the Donnybrook, you know, that was 43 schools, seven different States. And while it wasn't all the toughest competition in Iowa, those out of the state uh, uh, teams brought in some really, really heavy hitters. Um, it was a two day tournament. It was at the extreme center um, and we rallied it and we kind of treated it like a state tournament. Um Again, that was kind of really the first time we really uh, started emphasizing the importance of, of team points and and battling and battling back. And if you're on the backside, while it might be a disappointment, it's not the end to your season. And you just got to keep taking it one match at a time, one match at a time, striving for whatever your best place. I remember a few girls talking about like, oh, this is the best I can get. And, and really believing when the coaches said, then that's what you go get. Uh, they really took it to heart and they responded in a good way. Um, you know, we had a number of girls that made their way to the podium and, and that's what I, I see the recipe for anybody who's a state champion this year is you're going to have to have multiple girls up on the podium. And for us, I mean, uh, we're in a position that, that we're not going to surprise anybody. Um, we're, we're in a position that, uh, I think other teams know it's not a given. It's, it's going to be a battle. Like nothing's given to us yet. And it's going to be a real race uh, between us and some of those top teams. Um, it'll be, it'll be great to see how it all shakes out. 
All right, uh, Coach, uh, congrats on a great season to this point. Uh, hopefully it's even greater uh, this weekend uh, with the uh, finish uh, with the state tournament uh, down in Coralville. Appreciate the time. We wish you best of luck. Thanks, Darren. Gene Adams, head coach of the Decorah Girls wrestling team as they head to the state tournament in Coralville this weekend.